Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as everyone knows, I am a part-time van lifer and I gotta tell you, I'm going to really pull out my hair. Wanna know why? Stay tuned. All right, so I gotta tell you, being a part-timer is actually really good. I'm out here in Quartzside, Arizona, as you can see, out in the middle of nowhere, loving life, boondocking away, and Zeus is out here and he is sunbathing, so he's having a good old time. But I got to tell you, being a part-time van lifer is very frustrating because this car, this vehicle is also my daily runner. That's right. So I'm not going to carry my porta potty with me while I'm at home. I'm not going to have some of the things that I use in my van in the van while I'm using it as my daily runner. Why? Like I don't have my washing machine with me. I don't have my Starlink here. I always take them out of the van so I can use the car as a daily runner. However, <laughs> I swear I am pulling my hair out. For instance, I used my solar panel recently to charge my Blue Yeti because my home base lost power. So I used my Blue Yeti, which was in the van, okay, and the solar panel and the cords and everything, took them out and used them at home base. Now, I did remember to put the solar panel back and I did remember to put the Blue Yeti back. However, I left the cord. Oh, I'm going to pull my hair out. So now I have to rely on my house battery to charge my Blue Yeti because I left the cord at home. Perfect, right? There are so many things that I have left at home that I could have used here in courtside boondocking. And it really is frustrating. I'm pulling my hair out. That's just one example. I know of three or four different things where I had left things that were in the van and I'd taken them out to use at home base and I forgot to put them back into the van. So tip number one and most important, make your list. I now am going to put a sticky note right at the door that if I take anything out of my van, I'm going to make sure that when I pack for a trip, I'm going to put it back in the van. Because honestly, I use my hot logic. I use my rice cooker. I use so many different things that I have in the van that I always use on the trip. But I also use it at home base. And people are saying, well, you know, why don't you buy two of everything? Well, I'm glad you have extra money to blow on two of everything. But, you know, since I already had it, why would I want to buy two? So, biggest tip of all, make your list. Oh my God, I, I am so pulling out my hair. I've been here a week and there's things that I'm just like, why didn't I bring that? Why didn't I remember to do this? Why didn't I remember to do that? I should have done this. I should have done that. You know what? It all could have been avoided if I would have made a list. Now, as a full timer, you wouldn't have to worry because everything you own will be in the van. But as a part-timer, because I'm back and forth, back and forth, I pack for each trip. So, yeah, mm. definitely make your list. So trust me, definitely make your list. Part-time van life is great, but it has its own set of trials and tribulations that we all have to do. That's my tip and trick for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. And hey, stop dreaming it. Start living it, all right? Bye, everyone.